Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before you continue this video, I'd like to tell you that the second volume of our art book, the book of illustrated of Quran, can be ordered right now. You can support us by buying this book for your niece and nephew. Link in the description below. Assalamualaikum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions وَالَّذِينَهُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ Those who negate idle speech, speech that has no benefit whatsoever. Not speech that's haram necessarily, idle speech. Laghwi is just stuff that has no benefit to talk about. But you keep weighing in and you keep weighing in. And Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said about the man from Bani Israel and his brother, says, وَاللَّهِ لَتَكَلَّمَ بِكَلِمَ أَوْ بَقَتْ بِهِ دُنْيَاهُ وَآخِرَتَهُ he said one word that ruined his life and ruined his hereafter. So the first thing is, should I weigh in on it? Most likely the answer is no. Because the Prophet said, Man kana wal Whoever believes in Allah in the last day, say something good or be quiet. You don't need to say anything at all. The second thing is, why am I reading about this so much? Why am I so interested and curious in how this is going to end up? And that's the second sign of khudlan that we need to take into consideration. We don't want to be abandoned by Allah. Why? Because your interest in seeing how this is going to end is directly correlated to your ignorance of your own interest in how things are going to end for you. I'm going to say that again. Your obsession with this dunyawi, worthless, material filth is directly tied to your ignorance of yourself and your ultimate place with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do we know that? You know, a man came up to Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah ta'ala and he said to Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, he started asking him all these questions about Ali radiallahu anhu and Muawiyah radiallahu anhu, about the fitna. He said, this and this and that. Tell me about this. Tell me about that. Tell me about this. Abu Hanifa responded to him. He said, you know, I doubt that on the day of judgment, Allah is going to ask me about Ali or Muawiyah. He's going to ask me about me. So I'm going to focus on myself and my own standing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't need to start getting involved in takes. I don't need to have an opinion. I don't need to have a comment. I'm not even interested because I'm too concerned with my own state. Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah said, Rahimahullahu imran shagalatuhu ayyubuhu an ayyub nas May Allah have mercy on a person who's so busy with their faults that they don't even see the faults of other people anymore. They're too busy and consumed with their own faults to even pay attention to other people's faults. The WhatsApp conversation might end in a certain way. The Facebook debate might end in a certain way. The Twitter debate might end in a certain way. The comments are going to go all over the place. People would have each accumulated their share of sins. But what's my ending with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Where do I go from here? How am I going to stand in front of Allah? 